Hi everyone. Let's solve question number thirty-eight. Let P Q R be any three sets. Consider the following two statements: P minus whole Q minus R equals two P minus Q union R, and the second statement. And we have to find out which of the following statement is true. Now you wouldn't have preferred to solve this question with the help of Venn diagrams. Unlike the other P G R B questions which we have seen in past year papers, this was not a kind of question you would have preferred to solve with the help of Venn diagrams. So you should be knowing different laws of sets, and that would be helpful to solve this question. So let's see. So the first one is P minus Q minus R, and the second one is P minus Q union R. Let's try to open this up. So we know that if we have been given A minus B, so that is equals to A intersection B dash, right? So we'll be using that property. So that would give me P minus Q intersection R dash, and if I try to do it further, I'll be getting P intersection Q intersection R dash whole dash right, so this would become, and this would become P intersection Q dash union R. Now this would further become P intersection with the help of De Morgan's law. We'll be getting Q dash union R right. Now if I try to do the distributive property, if I try to use the distributive property, I'll be getting P intersection Q dash union P intersection R. Now here's a trick. It's given that either P is the subset of R or R R is the subset of P. Now, so the case one is this is P, this is R, and case two is this is R and this is P. So let's see this case. If P is the subset of R, in that case, P intersection R would be P only. So that would give me P intersection Q dash union P. And if I try to solve this one, if I try to look at this one. in that case p intersection r would be r only so the other case would be p intersection q dash union r right so we can clearly see that this one matches with this one so in case r is a subset of p only in that case these two are equal right so we can see that one is correct only if r is less uh, r is subset of p now let's talk about second statement second statement says P minus Q union R, and the other one is P minus Q minus R. So let's try to simplify it. This would become P intersection Q union R dash, and this would become P intersection Q dash minus R, and that would further become P intersection Q dash union intersection R dash. Right. Now this would become P intersection Q intersection Q dash intersection R dash because of the De Morgan's law. Right. and this also becomes p intersection q dash intersection r dash now if i use the associative property of the sets i'll be getting p intersection q dash intersection r dash so this and this becomes equal so basically statement 2 is correct so 2 is always correct and 1 is correct only if r is a subset of p so this is the correct answer 